So, um, yeah, uh, we're almost at the end, everyone. We're almost at the end. Now, this place can be a maze. There's some trees you can walk through and others you can't. As you can see, we're miniature. So, yeah. Oh, new enemy. Yeah, I need to look at my monitor because of... Anyway, so new enemy, this is... This is Chompasaur. Now, uh, they have, they know shield, uh, they know some shield attacks, so, um, they have a shield on them, so, uh, maybe use freeze, maybe I'll use the neutralizer and, uh, just use some freeze attacks. They have a 1 in 7 20 chance of dropping the magic frying pan, and let me just double check if, um, they have a 1 in 1 20 chance of dropping the uh, magic frying pan, so, uh, yes, um, the power shield looks like the attack, but yeah, um, so yeah, um, the Magic Fry Pan is a really powerful weapon that Paula can equip, and if you manage to get it, it'll be really worth it. It's not the huge foot. Yeah, these are, these dinosaur enemies are pretty dangerous. Chompasaur became tame, and uh, yeah, it's about that. We didn't get any Magic Fry Pan, though. There's two new enemies we can see in this area. Let me just load the map really quickly. That's about what we dropped, so... Sorry, we're not gonna fight you. Haha, <laughs> you can't fight me. Now, in this area, this is gonna be the last remaining weapon we can get for Pooh, the last remaining armor we can get for Pooh. It's... Seem to remember where it is, so we're just gonna look around for a bit. I think it's in the top right of this area. I think, uh, let me double, let me just double check the map. It's around the top right of this area, so, um... So, uh, I think this is it right here, but I could be wrong. There's a lot of things that can block you in this area, too. The Guts Capsule. I think I also need to get rid of something in Pooh's inventory. We don't need the Speed Capsule. And, uh, we don't need... We don't need the rock candy. We might have to call Scargo Express here with a few items. I think, uh... I know there is a... It's in this area. Alright, so... Welcome to the town! We're about to approach the town, and that is if we can't get into a battle. Oh, new enemy! This is the, this is the, uh, Wetnosaur. Now, uh, there are the, this is the other dinosaur army encountering this area. They are, I think these are the ones that are weak to freeze, but I could be wrong, yeah. They take, uh, they take about average damage to freeze. But they, I think these are the stronger ones, the two, also. Wetnosaur became tame, yes. We didn't get any, uh, yeah, so yeah, the, uh, the Chompasaurs are the ones that are, they give them more XP. We go to the, if we go right here. You guys sound really good, Sam, Sam, who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what are you doing inside a dinosaur cave? I'm, I'm going to go and get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I'll let you out. Thank you for the tender crap. And this tender crap was stolen. The alpha smell is starting, the group is now gone. But yeah, that's the thing we got back in Tender Village. We can change the dinosaur and lock them up before we run into I don't believe it. He just spewed out his cake hole. Tender like the top can't come from the lost underworld. Because we couldn't stand the quieter world, so we can have a separate tribe. I hope we can really friendly against something. Yeah, it was a lot easier than we up above. Let's play Store. My friend Ago loves this game, so I'm gonna help you. And uh, we're gonna get the ultimate bat, because it's uh, something we get from Ness. We don't have the money. I don't think there's an ATM here, also. Is there an ATM in this area? Let me talk to this guy. If I can get to that guy in the top left, that is. 
You know, we're just going to play it a little safer. I'll see you guys in a second because I'm going to teleport back to another city and get the money. See you guys in a second. So now that we're back at the town, um, we're going to buy the items. I totally forgot I only had $100. I took out $80,000, and that should be able to get us through the rest of the game. Yeah, we're gonna buy the, uh, we're gonna buy the ultimate bat. Yes, yeah, here. Oh, fuck. I, I, I was... Sometimes I don't like how... Sometimes I don't like how you think you can get some, but, uh... We'll sell the speed capsule. We're gonna get the ultimate bat. Next off, we're gonna change from 171 to 185. And, uh... We're gonna sell Paula's, um... We don't need a sud- we don't need a lucky coin anymore. And, uh, we're gonna buy our, the, uh... We're gonna buy the whole buy coin, and, uh... Oh, uh, well, we can also get a shiny coin, but, uh... I'm- I'm not paying attention right now. I'm a tad bit on the tired side, but, um... Paul's off on chase from 134 to 154. And yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna sell a couple things out of this and Paul's inventory so we can get the, uh... The mainly Paul. Actually, no. Never mind. Uh, I'm totally confused with the shop. Sometimes I can't figure out how the shop works in this game. And we're gonna get the shiny coin, um... We're gonna get the shiny coin to Paul off. That's about our shopping spray. And, uh... I guess we'll get a Horn of Life, um... We'll make- we'll buy one for Ness and one for Pooh. So yeah, that's about our- that's about how our shopping go. Now, I'm just double-checking the map. So I can, uh, I think that one down there, that's the, uh, last remaining weapon for Pooh. Where's that another? Interestingly enough, if you go in this area and not get blocked, if you go in this area, we'll see this area. This will serve a purpose at the very end of the game. But anyway, now we just have to uh, continue on for a bit. Anyway, so um, I want to say that one up in the top right—that's the weapon for Pooh. That's the armor for Pooh. It's the last main armor we really need for Pooh, also. Is this it? Both of Kings. Yes. So we're gonna give that to Pooh. Because Paula doesn't need it. We're gonna have the clothing he needs from Pooh, and this is the last remaining thing Pooh can equip. And, uh, if we look at it from Pooh's, uh, perspective... The clothing he needs, Pooh's my equipment, this is defense. So, unfortunately, though, Pooh can't equip anything that's the equivalent of, like, the Night Cannon or the Flame Cannon. We just... It can really only raise defense, but we now we have a fully armored Pooh. Wow, I don't know, that can come off of... The, a totally different way than intended, but like, um, yeah, Pooh's fully equipped, is what I meant. Anyway, so that's another, that's another save spot, so, um, I guess we can save. We have sixty-seven thousand three hundred dollars in the bank. I wish I had that much money in my bank account. <laughs> yeah, I'm not rich. Oh, one last enemy fight before we go in there. One last chance to get the magic fry pan. Fry pan, and also uh, Jeff and Pooh are almost dead. So um. We're gonna life up beta with Ness on Jeff and with Pooh we're gonna give life up on Mega. See so yeah, we should get it in this area now. War just a fair warning about the next area. This is the um 
if I let, let me just double check Earthbound Wiki to see uh, if my research is correct. Um, this is Flood Spring. Now, um, just a fair warning. This is a tough area if you don't come prepared. We're going to save it off for the next part. So next time on Earthbound, we're going to tackle the Fire Spring. See you guys next time.